so in the previous video we have just seen uh, up to the ideal fuel okay students in that we have seen the ideal fuel that what is ideal fuel that we have seen that which which conditions are there for the ideal fuel so first of all it should have a high caloric value its ignition temperature should be moderate neither too high nor very low this is because high ignition temperature means that the fuel has to be heated for a long duration and low ignition temperature could make the fuel unsafe as it catches it will catch fire easily means this uh, all the things we have seen in the previous video in that uh, it is said that uh, its caloric value will should be high so that it will burn more and the uh, side products or the by products which remains uh, we know that in the wood the ash is remain that will not remain if the high if there is high caloric value then it will not remain so in that we have only seen that is hydrogen which has the highest caloric value okay then after its ignition temperature should be moderated means what uh, the ignition temperature not should be less and not should be more okay this both it should be in the middle that if it is very low then it will just not easy to burn that and if it will be very high then we can just it can e easily catch the fire from anywhere so it should be stable that okay then after the another point is it should burn at the moderate rate and release heat in the controlled manner means if it start burning then it should not be explosive okay why because it should be in the limited area means how much we just fuel that that is given to an engine that much only it should be burnt not more than that okay then after it should not be costly and easily available means it should not be costly means if we know that hydrogen is very costly i think so <clears throat> so it is costly and we can't use as fuel in the cars but it is the hydrogen is used as fuel in the uh, space shuttles and all the things means that it is hydrogen used then after it is it should be safe to handle store and transport means here they are telling that it should be when it is stored then it should be safe safe it can be transported then this all the things should be there <clears throat> then after it should be clean fuel and not causing pollution on burning means the fuel should not cause the pollution when it is burned okay students now next that is it should not affect our environment for example wood as fuel leads to deforestation means it should not harm to our environment this the fuel which is ideal fuel that should not be harm to our environment why because if if i take an example of wood then if we want wood then we need what we need to just cut the trees means it is deforestation okay and then after we have seen about the hydrogen as fuel methane or lpg as fuel and petrol or diesel as fuels and then after coming here to the fossil fuels here first of all writing the fossil fuels what is fossil fuel okay fossil fuel fossil fuels were formed from plant and animals that way that way very under the surface 
surface of the earth millions of year millions of year years ago so what is fossil fuel and how it is formed over here that is fossil fuel were formed from the plants and animals that were buried under the surface of the earth millions of year ago means uh, before the million year the plants and animals which are just buried inside the surface of the earth then it will form the fossil fuel and here the fossil fuel are further divided into three parts which which let us see the first one is coal first one is coal second one is petroleum third one that is natural gas natural gas so here we know we have we are just familiar with the coal petroleum and natural gas so if i say that if i say that this is in the different different state if i say coal then it is in solid state petroleum means it is in the mineral oils this all are in the liquid form and natural gas this is in the gas form these are the three states of the fossil fuel and it is just said that coal petroleum and natural gas in that this are further divided into many parts here you can see first of all coal we have seen if in gujarati i say that coal sa then this is coal okay students so the coals are of different types anthracene then uh, lignite then uh, i don't know the name but i think it will be there in the your textbook so there are coals of different and first of all let us see for the there are three types of fossil fuel coal petroleum and natural gas fossil fuels are being extend extensively used by men to meet the ever growing demand of energy if if we continue to utilize them at this rate their known res reserve would deplete at very fast once this fuel are consumed they cannot be created within human time scale this source is source of energy are known as the non renewable source of energy here if we just use this at once then after we can't use it again okay we can't use this again then after what the other thing is we have to use this thing in limited because our further generation can use this so we have to use it in the limited and also the other thing that is this all this can be used one time only so they are known as the non renewable sources so what is non renewable sources let us see there is definition given in your textbook the source of energy the sources of energy sources of energy that can that cannot be replenished replenished after after use and are likely to be exhausted exhausted in 
ल्यूकोज solar energy wind wind energy and this all the things we can use it again and again and again we know that sun is coming every day it is not late but we are late sometimes but the sun is never late and then after wind yes wind is also there so solar energy we know that nowadays in the roof of our house we can just uh, fit the solar uh, panels so that we can use the solar energy in that the government gives subsidies for it and then after wind energy we have seen the windmills near the marna if you just go towards that side marna then you can see many of the windmills over there why is the windmill situated in that area because there are open grounds over there so what happens in the open ground the wind is more so the wind energy can be used properly so that is the renewable source of energy which i have talked about the sun which is solar energy and the wind that is wind energy okay so that are the renewable sources of energy but here we are talking about the non renewable sources of energy that is coal petroleum and natural gas i am just repeating it again so what is coal it is the solid form of the fossil fuel which is known as coal then after petroleum which is the liquid form of uh, the fossil fuel that is known as petroleum and third that is natural gas which is the gas which is all the gases are there okay so now moving further here in the bracket it is given that alternate sources of energy alternate sources of energy are sources that are an alternate to energy derived from fossil fuels and include sources that derive energy from the sun wind water nuclear biomass etc most of this sources of energy are renewable sources of energy you can see the renewable sources of energy definition is given see i am just writing that on the board by human activities 
human activities are called renewable sources of energy okay so here are the definitions given of non renewable source of energy and renewable source of energy so first of all i can say renewable source then what is renewable source i have just explained it that the sources of energy that is produced in nature continuously and are not likely to get exhausted by the human activities are called the renewable sources of energy means we due to which we just use it use it after again and again then it will not be over and we can use it further so that is the renewable sources of energy but the non renewable sources of energy means it is just used at once if you just once used then you cannot use it again okay but the renewable sources it can be used again and again so we should use the renewable sources of energy by just using the non renewable sources of energy okay students now moving further here let us discuss each of the fossil fuel here they are just discussing the fossil fuels that is uh, coal petroleum and natural gas and the limitations in detail here first of all they are just <coughs> starting with the coal so you can see that the picture of coal is given that is coal is a fossil fuel here you can see in the picture here coal is usually brown or black in color it exists in solid state and is rich in the carbon okay so first of all they are just telling us coal is brown or black in color and then after they have said that it is it exists in the solid state as i have just uh, explained it earlier that coal soil coal is in the solid state petroleum is in, in liquid state and the uh, natural gas that is in the gas form okay then in the coal there is carbon is more it is rich in the carbon okay next that is coal is classified into three major types based on the carbon content here the coal is further divided into coal is further divided into three parts so let us see the first one that is anthracite second one is bituminous third one is lignite see here you can see the different types of coal here they have given in the form of tabular so here black in the anthracite that is blacky glossy and hard coal means it is very blacky means its color is very black and it is very hard coal then after bituminous that is black coal and lignite that is brown coal and here the quality and the percentage is given of the carbon so here it is the best quality that is in this how much percent of the carbon is there that is 92 to 98% of carbon and it is the best quality of the coal and here the next one it is it have 70 to 80 percent carbon. Okay, and the third one that is 60 to 70 percent of carbon. 
so here the are the three types of coals and in that there are different different coal uh, just uh, percentages of the carbon that how much percent of carbon is there in it so here in the anthracite there is 92 to 98 percent of carbon means it is the best coal okay it is the best coal and then after in the bituminous there is 70 to 80 percent of carbon 70 to 80 percent of carbon means it is a medium quality coal and the lignite that is 60 to 70 percent of carbon is there in the lignite okay students so what happens this is the dull quality this is the lowest quality this is medium and this is the highest the high quality okay students and here it produce light or no smoke and therefore is used for heating purpose in homes and commercial places so this is used it is heats up and it is used in which is commercial use and the uh, homes then after the second one that is it is used for preparation of coke and generate generation of electricity in thermal power plant so this coal is used in the thermal power plant and the third one that is lignite it is used for the generation of electricity in the thermal power plant okay so up to here we just and in your homework in your homework what you have to write is a difference of coal okay means you have to write the difference which is table given in your uh, textbook the table with, with the table number uh, 5.4 which is given that you have to write in your homework and learn also so we will meet in the next video okay bye students